You uh, talk about HIV, the HIV virus and AIDS uh, as well. That's been in the forefront for better than 30 years now. What do we know about about uh, that disease, that virus now that maybe we, we didn't a few years ago? Well, I think one of the, th the pictures that's emerging in HIV, it's not just the HIV, it's also the other infections that are co-infections with HIV because the HIV virus itself doesn't really cause life-threatening symptoms. Hmm. What it does do is it sets up an individual for uh, life-threatening infections. <clears throat> One of these is we've studied, which is mycoplasma, but there are a variety of other infections as well that come to play which actually do the damage in HIV AIDS. So we've been working on some of those other infections like mycoplasma infection and, and how that plays a major role in HIV AIDS because more than 80% of, of AIDS, probably 100%, uh, have uh, mycoplasma, like mycoplasma fermentans, which is one of the more common mycoplasma infections in HIV AIDS. Mm -hmm. And this is what really causes the, the, the major the symptoms which lead to life-threatening uh, course of the disease. Mm -hmm. What's a mycoplasma infection? Can you describe Mycoplasma that? is a very primitive bacteria. It does not have a, a cell wall around it, so it's okay. a very pleomorphic bacteria. This type of bacteria uh, gets inside cells, so it's intracellular. It penetrates into the central nervous system, so now you can see why mm. it's a major problem. Mm -hmm. And once it's in there, it can interfere with the metabolism of nerve cells, for example. It can interfere with them, and eventually it can kill them by sending them into apoptosis programs or program cell death. It also interferes with the mitochondria because it stimulates an increase in oxidative molecules, free radicals that damage the mitochondrial membrane. So it all ties back to what we were talking about in terms mm -hmm. of mitochondrial damage. So people that have HIV AIDS have a lot of mitochondrial damage and that's one of the reasons why they're so fatigued.